I'm impressed. I expected Ash. Ash is here too. He's inside me, lending me his strength. Second order hyper resonance. You've surpassed your original. You are now a true human being. You've stepped across a sea of corpses and made it here. Now, join me, Luke. We will destroy the planet's memory and overturn the score of final judgment. No. Well, well. Why not? I finally understand what it is I wanted. I wanted you to acknowledge me. To accept me as a human being, not a replica. Yes. And you have become a human being. But that's not enough. You said to me, can you not live unless you were born for some purpose? I'm not living for anyone else. There's no special meaning in living. When I sensed my own death, I wanted to live. I know now. That's all I needed. So, I don't need you anymore. It doesn't matter if you accept me or not. Here I am, alive! <laughs> You've acquired some impudent wisdom. Ban, people can change just as Luke has. Reconsider one more time. The planet's memory may exist just as you say, but is it really absolute? Luke isn't here because it's written. He's here because he chooses to be. The planet's memory is one possible choice for a future, but only people make that choice. That isn't absolute either. You might not be choosing, but rather being made to choose. If so, maybe you're being made to choose to destroy the planet's memory. If you say you've decided to erase the planet's memory of your own will, then that itself is proof that the planet's memory isn't absolute. That's an empty argument. Yulia's score represents the planet's memory I speak of. The destruction of mankind is written in it. The destruction of the planet's memory is not. So you will carry out that destruction with the originals, then create a replica world. That's no different than those who let Hod be destroyed. That's why Ash rejected you. Didn't you resent the destruction of Hod and despise those who caused it? I did. But I must do whatever it takes to destroy the absolute path of the planet's memory. It's strange to hear that from such a wise man. People and planets all eventually die. Regardless of whether the planet has a memory or not, that alone is guaranteed. Even if the absolute path you speak of exists, people have the right to choose their own path to destruction. Fitting words for a necromancer. Everything dies. It's merely a matter of time. But the planet's memory calls for it too soon. I cannot accept perishing early the way you can. But you're trying to destroy the originals even earlier than the planet's memory. You hate the score so much, you're shackled to it more than anyone else. <laughs> Perhaps so. I, no, all of us, are bound to the future we call the score. We believe we can choose our future. I know the future is predetermined. As I thought, it would seem we cannot see eye to eye. Draw your weapons. I'll take you all on at once. Brilliant color! Take it! 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 Take it!
The phonic hymns. Their melody will indeed awaken Lorelei. But you don't know the true wish contained in those hymns. They won't work on me. No, brother. I do know. I can feel the thoughts and emotions Yulia placed in these hymns. If that's true, Miss Timica, then sing. Now, for me. I'm not doing too well, can I? I screwed up. 